on, guys, get the puck. Is it working? It seems to be. Testing one, testing two, testing three. Testing one, testing two, testing three. Should be working. Testing six, actually. <laughs> I mean, it was test six, though. Mm -hmm. I'm, te I'm te technically... Is he filming that from his phone or something? It kind of looks like he's filming it from the phone. But it's just clear. Uh, I think they might do a chuckle puck like in between periods. That's my guess. Because they're going to do the senior thing at 115, so in five minutes. And then the actual game is supposed to start at 130. So you have 20 minutes until the actual game. Testing two, four, six. Testing two, four, six. I don't have internet. Here, I'll try to pull it up on my phone, but I need to get the internet first. Testing, testing, testing. Yeah, it's hard to tell if I'm live. Should be. Should be fine. Hold on. I'll go, like, over there and see if I can hear you. Testing, testing, testing. It testing should be, two, testing yep. four, testing six. Okay, try talking. I will go over there. Okay. There we go. Okay, successful test. All right, we'll be back in a moment with the start of the affair. And I move them so they get fresh coldness.
Oh my! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Norwich Hockey Club Hockey here on the Solu Broadcasting Network. I am your host, Scotty Bonner, along here with my color man, Mr. Declan Dempsey, and my camera lady, producer, director, and bride, the lovely and talented Miss Michelle, behind the camera here today. It is senior day, ladies and gentlemen, for the Norwich Hockey Club, so a bittersweet day. For a dozen seniors, I think it's 12. I believe we counted 12. Yeah, 12 seniors are going to be graduating from this team, from this United Tier 1 Hockey League Championship team as they make their way onto the ice for the final contest of the season, taking on the Somme Academy organization. These two teams played last night an overtime thriller as Norwich tied the affair with the goaltender pulled with under a minute to go, but in overtime... It was Donovan Odege with a beautiful shorthanded backhand goal to win it for Somme. So we expect another good one here today as these two organizations get ready to go at it. We're going to turn it over to the PA announcer in just a moment for the Senior Day festivities. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. An absolute blessing, honor, and privilege to be here with you today as you see the seniors for the Norwich Hockey Club lining up. Only the second year of the organization's existence and what a fantastic season it's been as the boys, like we said last weekend up in New Hampshire, took home the United Tier 1 Hockey League Championship. And now they're here today to finish out the season against Somme Academy. So we'll turn it over to the PA announcer for Senior Day festivities here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Speller, ladies and gentlemen. Played very hard in the playoff game. They got the dog in the picture. It's amazing. Our next senior brings great determination to our team. He plays center and left wing and works in the power play and in the penalty kill. He's coming off a great performance in the UT1 HL playoffs. Please join me in recognizing forward number nine, Nathan DeRozier. Nation DeRozier. Also is a great, hardworking player.
One thing I love about this is that they have all the families lined up and everything, even the kids from Canada. Yeah, that's great. Well, it depends on how close they are, but for Nathan, they have Emma and everything. Because Emma's the host, the host family. It's a very special day for everybody today. Oh, yeah. Well, not everybody. Twelve pe- peoples, but <laughs> most peoples. Our next senior joined the 12th of November when he transferred to Noah's Great Academy. We solidified our team's offense in that and yeah, well. scored two points in the overtime semifinal win and two points in the championship game this past weekend. Please join us in recognizing forward number 10, Niano Vescovel-Karin. Niano Vescovel-Karin. Oh, that's nice. He has his family here from Canada. Oh, wait, no. Keanu lives near here. I forgot. Yeah, this is the open ceremonies. The game's about to start in about 10 minutes. Nolly Night Force, number 11. Um, the, I think the whole team's going to miss Nolly. He's a great forward and defenseman. Like I said yesterday, a real grounded player. Our next team has done a tremendous job as a quarterback in our top power play and bringing offense to his position as a defenseman. Please join me in recognizing forward defenseman number 27, Christopher Taylor. Christopher Tellier, Pelletier. Tonko. Great goalie that won us the championship last year. Uh, last weekend, not Tremendous last year. Goaltender. Practically all the goalies are in their 30s besides Connor. Our next senior is a two-year assistant captain. He's a super strong winger. He's deceptively fast on the ice and both Smartest hockey IQ on our team. Please join me in recognizing the defenseman, number 32, Owen Cartledge. Number 32, Owen Cartledge. Our next senior had success on and off the ice, racking up 25 weeks. Number 33, goaltender Noah Kosha. Uh, he's in the Honor Society. Very cool. Also an excellent goalkeeper. Hey, excellent goalkeeper, excellent grades. Our next senior is playing right wing and center, serves an assistant captain, and is a leader both in the clubhouse and on the ice. He's always watching out for his teammates. Please join me in recognizing forward number 66, Zach Gagnon. Number 66, Zachary Gagnon. Number 97, Vincent Krager. Our 
He was a strong forward, didn't he? Have a great back check last night. Oh yeah, he's oh, a great two hundred foot player. Yeah. yeah. One of the captains, number 22, Felix Antoine Leblanc. Honor Society, 100 points this season, 200 in his career, leading the assists for the team this season. Great, great player. Great penalty killer. Oh, yeah. He's always on the also a member of the National Honor Society. He's a two-year captain who has terrorized opponents with goal scorer. He has more than one career goal and recommended a stand at the same time. And he's also on the verge of setting a team record for goals of the season. He led the team in playoff scoring with nine goals in five games in this year's championship. Please join me in recognizing forward number 88, Jacob Martineau. Number 88, Jacob Martineau. The line has to win duel, and I think that's everybody. Fantastic hockey player. Oh, he's just a fantastic person in general. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one final round of applause. All right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Norwich. Senior class of 2024 for the Norwich Hockey Club. Great players overall this season. A nice round of applause for the Billet families make the program possible. All right, I think that's going to wrap up the senior afternoon activities, ladies and gentlemen. So congratulations to all the boys, all the families, all the Billet families. And I think warm-ups are about to start. As you can see, the officials in the corner over there, the nets are out. We are uh, about to start set it up and see. yep, warm up sorry about start five minute warm ups and yeah. I'm curious to see what today looks like because yesterday it was a rough but great game. You get mainly yesterday what we saw is a lot of the hustle and in, in the first minute we saw full speed top effort. Everybody was just skating around trying to get the puck and they, but they weren't puck chasing. They were getting open, making good passes, getting getting good shots off. And just good heads up play by both teams in the first minute. I think we're going to see another close game here this afternoon, Declan. Two real good hockey teams. I don't know if this will go into another overtime, but uh, I'm assuming it might it because might. yesterday was a pretty close game. Norwich started it off with two, and then Somain tied it up with two, and then it was 3-3 three, three at the end of the second. And then at the end of overtime, it was 4-3. Well, we'll see who gets the start in between the pipes for Somme Academy. If it's going to be Isaac Boulet again. Last night he played very well. Or if it's going to be number 34, Alex Veal, getting the start in between the pipes for Somme. We'll see who gets the start I'm, for the Norwich Hockey Club. If it's going to be Holly Tonko or if it's going to be Kosher. I'm, or last night's starter, Conor Mertz, unless you have some insider information. <laughs> I'm thinking it would be Holly Tonko. I think it might be. I'm just we'll thinking. Say. I'm thinking. We shall see what Coach Sheehan has in store. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the high school level here, they play 17-minute stanzas. Icing and offsides are in effect. There is no delayed offsides. Yes, there is. Oh, there is delayed offsides. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, there is delayed offsides, right, if you're shorthanded. No icing. And you ice the puck. There is no icing. Body contact is legal. Fighting is frowned upon. Penalties are for two minutes. And as we learned last night, if it's tied at the end of regulation, there, there will be a sudden be. death or sudden life overtime. Four on four. four. Hockey. That, like that's the thing that questioned night. me yesterday. Usually it's five on five or three on three, four on four. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it, it, like I said, we talk, it, always, it depends on what league the game is under. Yeah. Some, some games are under CHC. Some, some games, games are under are, USA. Some games could be one on one. I don't know. So, but as we know now, the game, if it and, does go to overtime, will be four on four. 
Yup, and if it doesn't go into overtime, then... Then it'll be five on five. <laughs> five on five for the whole game, but... Well, unless unless penalties are cold. Yep. <laughs> so. Well, if the game's over after overtime, then I'm pretty sure there will be a shootout because you can't have an overtime and then just quit after overtime. You have to have a winner if you go into overtime, so I think there will be a shootout because I'm pretty I sure there's nothing right. after this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our final broadcast of the season for the Solu Broadcasting Company, game number 358 on the docket. It all began just after Labor Day, culminating here today, the final matchup between Somme Academy and the Norwich Hockey Club. Michelle and I want to send a huge thank you out to the Norwich Hockey Club for the privilege of being part of the team in its first two inaugural seasons. It really has been a blessing, honor, and privilege to all these games. Obviously very exciting, obviously a lot of fun. What they've done here for the community in Norwich, the program, well underway. They've got some big shoes to fill, obviously, with 12 seniors graduating. Oh, so, yeah. A good year to apply to Norwich <laughs> Hockey Club and Norwich Free Academy, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a young hockey player out there, you won't find a finer program and a finer coach than Coach Sheehan. So oh, I couldn't yeah. encourage you more, and I'm sure all the players and families would attest to that as well. So, And I'm sure the coaches and players appreciate being able to go back and watch the game and have good footage instead of just having live barn. Which is nothing against live barn, it's just not the best footage. But uh, thanks for being here broadcasting the season for my games and for all the other games. Oh, thank you, Declan. It's a privilege to do your games, a privilege to do these games. And I really enjoy doing these games with you. I'm telling you, the best color man in the business. I know you don't believe me yet. I don't. <laughs> uh, you do a great job, and you're such a nice young man. So we're ready to get started here. Did your phone go? No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Warm-ups are coming to a close, ladies and gentlemen. The season coming to a close as well. What a successful second campaign it has been for the Norwich Hockey Club. And this has been our fifth season up here for Solu Broadcasting. So thank you so much to the Southeastern Connecticut Seahawks, their families. Hoping to make it six and, next season. And the Norwich oh, will be here. You're stuck with us. We're like a stray cat that you feed. We keep coming back. <laughs> and the affair about ready to get underway here between Somme Academy and the Norwich Hockey Club. Warm-ups coming to an end once warm-ups are done. They will do the starting lineups, the national anthems for Canada and the United States. And then the game will be underway. And I'm expecting a good one just like last night. Both teams very fast. There was a lot of energy last night right off the jump street. Oh, yeah. North right off the We had a couple of intervenes at the close to the end of the game after the end of the third we had a little scrummage at the end with i forget uh who it was for the other team but for, for norwich it was number 97 uh vincent Krieger just trying to lay low try not to get into any scrums <laughs> yeah and norwich started that, overtime on a power play and with... him keeping his cool really helped him out but so may I mean, score defense, but defense didn't pull out much, and so man was able to score shorthanded. It was a gorgeous goal last night off a gorgeous feed as Oda Jay went to the oh, backhand. Yeah. But as the great Mark McGuire told the Senate Committee on Steroids, we're not here to talk about the past, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to talk about the future, and the future is right now. Let the yeah. past be the past. <laughs> Let it die if you must, as the great Bane once told Batman. All right. We're going to have the starting lineups for Somme and for your Norwich Hockey Club. And then we will be underway just moments after that. Another good affair here, about ready to take place between two real good hockey teams. Both teams were flying last night. It was oh, yeah. 2 to nothing Norwich early. Oh, yeah. And the then Somme caught it up 2-2 two two in the first period. And then it was back and Four forth. goals in the first period, which is pretty good. But, I mean, they weren't able to keep that win streak the entire time. And then Somme in the second Got the third goal to get, give them the win, and then NHC was able to pull back and tie it up again, and then Somang just pulled through in the overtime. Yeah, it was exciting. Penalty kill, too. Norwich tied the affair with the goaltender pulled, Cartledge, under a minute. The goaltender wasn't pulled. Yes, he was. Cartledge was the extra skater. No, not for overtime. No, not overtime, no. No. No, no to get to send, close it to, to the to send it to overtime. Yeah, close to the end it was. Oh, no, not overtime. No, <laughs> certainly not. Never <laughs> pull a goalie in overtime. Actually, we did a game this year where the coach pulled the goalie in overtime with the faceoff with 15 seconds left, and they almost scored the winner. It was oh great. My God. I loved it. 
All right, we're going to have the starting lineups for both organizations, or are we going right to the national anthem, it looks like? The national anthem. No, well, national anthem. All right, no starting lineups. Well, starting lineups are after it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, senior festivities are out of the way. The national anthems are out of the way. Nothing left to do but drop the puck. We got two officials and two linesmen again, Declan. Uh, so a full, I, a I full think this crew. is overkill. I think it's overkill. <laughs> a full crew out there again. Last night, the rest of the linesmen got in the way a lot. Oh, yeah. Ca <laughs> not that full. Not that full. Let me be clear. Yes, it is. Caused any, <laughs> caused any tea. The two goals. It definitely cost them one goal, that was for sure. Oh, yeah. Bounced right out. <laughs> I think the out. third goal, the fourth goal, I forgot which one. Not oh, the overtime goal. No, was, not the overtime. Third, it was one of the third period, though. It was period, the third, it was the third, third goal, yeah. No, you know, no, the, there, the ref's part, the, ref part, part of the rink, though, you know? <laughs> but there's four there of them out there, so. There weren't any goals in the third period. I mean, why not have five, right? All right, the ref drops the puck, one of the officials. One and of, we are underway. One so of they, the actual officials, not the one of the linesmen. The Norwich Hockey Club out there. Speller. Speller had a goal last night. Looks on the like right wing, letting the shot go. Holly Tonko getting the start. Is that Holly Tonko or is that Kosher? Oh, it's Kosher. It's Kosher, Kosher getting oh. the start in between the pipes and down at the other end. Looks like it's going to be Veal going to get in the start. And in this between is in the pipes for Somme. In the corner now, trying to take a loose Norwich. They're going to get the first shot on goal here as the game just nicely underway. Somme getting the puck out to center. Bouncing puck. Eludes Skodidakis. This is see a, how many times we butcher that name today. The over under is <laughs> seven and a half. That this is a new thing for coach putting Felix Antoine Lafleur on defense. Usually he's a strong centerman, but it looks like he's playing really day. well at defense. So I mean, Ooh, he just took a stick to the grill there. Good thing boys got the face shields on at this level still. Otherwise, oh yeah, he'd be heading to the dentist office. <laughs> Sent ahead. What a beautiful pass down the right wing. Cutting in. Oh. 
no, it went off the back of the net. I thought it was in. I wasn't we sure. We all it was thought in. it was in. The fans just thought it was in. Speller, the what a pass by Laflamme. It went off the back of the net. We saw the net mesh move. And from this angle, I was thoroughly confused. Back the other way, Kosher gobbles it up like a biscuit on Thanksgiving. What a pass by Laflamme there. Oh, yeah. As he sauced it across, harnessing his inner Pierre Turgeon. That's why Laflamme right is such a Speller. great player. And on oh, playing defense, too. Connor? Connor's not playing defense. No, LaFlamme was. Oh, yeah. I was. I thought you said Connor. I'm like, what? No, LaFlamme getting the shift like... on D, as you pointed out. Yeah. All right, face off one by Somme. Back to the blue line. Bouncing puck, trying to get it out. Looks like Norwich coaches. getting to it quickly there. Back to the blue line. Hops over the stick of Guru. All news is good news with Gary Gnu. That's Guru. Down the left wing now, Koselli. Sending it into the corner. On it there, Laflamme. Laflamme takes the hit. Laflamme jousting at it there. That was like He was out there as a fencer. That was Tellier. It was, oh, it was. Tellier Pelletier. You're right. I stand corrected. Chance ahead now behind the D. The Rozier is trying to track it down. You saw the goaltender there trying to swipe Veal. Get a that chunk of the Rozier as it was going by. Back to the blue line. Tellier Pelletier sending it down low now. Morrison walks off the boards. Morrison with room. Morrison drops it back to the blue line. Aguilera lets the shot go. Found its way through. Nice stop there. Tipped. By the net mind of Veal. It was tipped by Nathan Disroys. I think I said that right. Probably not. <laughs> the, the PA announcer announced it, DeRozier. When I spoke with him in the beginning of the year, he told me it was DeRozier. So I don't know. DeRozier sounds so much prettier. It does. DeRozier, um, he tipped that. And almost one in. And this Laval Kearns right. now. It looks like Laflamme is back on forward. Leaning in now, Ali Nyfors on the wing with Laflamme. Where Laflamme does his best work Nyfors on center. Behind the net now, trying to get the puck back in front. That goes Espoval Kearns. Comes to Nyfors. Nyfors muscles Scored. it out in front. Tried to get it in front there. Going low to block and back the other way now. He's been having great games against Omain. He scored the first goal of the game yesterday. Early on, too. It was yeah. very early. It was they like jumped two, out to a 2 nothing lead two, in Norwich. Yep, two minutes in the game with Keanu and Nyfords. Ke uh, I forget Keanu's last name, how to, spell, how Esquival, to say that. Esquival Kearns, I believe, or Kearns. Mm -hmm. Kearns. Uh, but it's like Keanu, he was he's good there for the tip, and Nyfords, he just got the high shot. Yeah, but, he scored a beautiful goal yesterday. Turning on it now, Laflamme. Laflamme with speed, get it out in front, bounces loose, back to the blue line, sent back in by Page. He just sent it behind the net. Now Laflamme spinning away. Laflamme protecting the puck. Letting the quick shot go. Nice save. The rebound still loose, but it's blown dead. Good puck protection by Laflamme. And it looks like the, this goalie's more confident now from yesterday, but I think it's actually a different goalie because they have two is. goalies. Today, yeah, today's Alex Veal. Veal. I think it's Veal or Veal. Veal? W-V-L? Veal. 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 Veal, not Veal. No. Pour down Laflamme. Now Laflamme walking in, trying to pull the trigger. Got it on the backhand. Dangerous pass right up front. Through the goal mouth there as it's knocked down aside. Back to the blue line. Page will track it down. He'll send it over. to his defense partner, Kelly. Kelly lost the handle on it at the red line, but pushed it forward as Norwich looking to gain control. Nice soft pass ahead now. Nyfors didn't see the man coming off the bench. And he wasn't there a minute ago, and then all of a sudden he went to go skate, and he was there, but he came off the bench. So I don't think Ollie was ready for that. Nice stop there by the netminder, Noah Kosher. He got a, it was like a waffle shot kind of, but Noah, uh, you, you can look at Noah, that was going in like underneath his arm, but you could still see Noah. He got that, he closed his arm tight, kept his glove under it just to make that save. It was it's a great heads up save. Court, sending it across, Kosher making the save there. Kosher, of course, wearing number 33, Patrick Waugh's old number. You know, I'm a fan of Patrick Waugh these days. Well, I always was a fan of Patrick Waugh. Oh, now, yeah. Best goaltender. So. And uh, best coach. Not best goaltender ever. People Patrick Waugh is the best goaltender ever. People, say, people say it's Lundqvist. <laughs> what? Who says that? Well, he's... That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard he's of. The he's the, be he's yeah. the best goalie of all time. Who? Recently. Who? Lundqvist. Oh, he's not. No. Dominic like, he's the second best. Besides How many cups Wall, did Lundqvist win? What? How many cups did he win? I don't remember. Yeah, me neither. He's old. Up ahead now, Bellacourt. Bellacourt to the outside. Bellacourt. Mm -hmm. Bellacourt letting the shot go. Big stop by Kosher. Trying to reach for it there. 
In my opinion, it's Patrick Juan Martin Brodeur away now. Down the right ring, walking in. Dempsey pulls the trigger. Nice stop there by Viel. As Dempsey broke loose down the right wing, good shot there. Come on, Connor, skate faster. You got that. <laughs> Connor Dempsey broke down the right wing. He wasn't skating as hard as it's making me upset. <laughs> the tough critic is the younger brother, Declan, here in the booth. <laughs> good shot, though. So Dempsey, shot, number Connor. 34, wearing Johnny Van Beesbrook old number. Yeah, you know more NHLers than me, so... Well, I've been watching it for 45 <laughs> years. I hope so. Now Patrick Roy, Martin Brodeur, Dominic Hasek, in my opinion, one, two, and three that I've seen. Bouncing puck now. Knocked aside the best playoff goaltender, Billy Smith. Oh, yeah. Over the blue line, I thought that was all sides trying to pull the trigger. Nice job there by Tellier Pelletier to step up and take the real estate away. Up for Nyfors now. Nyfors down the left wing. Nyfors hounded there by Garou. On around it goes now. So May trying to get the puck out. Sauced it across there. And quickly on it, down the right wing, making to the inside, wheeling and dealing there with Sorn. As we got a penalty coming up here, behind the play, slashing is the call. And we'll see who's going to the sin bin now. Oh, it's Nyfords. Is it going to be Ali? Ali Nyfords headed to the sin bin, two minutes. Slashing for is slashing someone else when they're trying to play hockey. So the first power play of the afternoon is going to go to Somay Academy. As knife wars, two minutes for slashing. They were one for four last night on the power play. Why is Morrison in the box? Mm. Uh, he was just talking to the goaltender. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Well, there's probably so much. Hard across now for Kelly. Kelly will bench. send it all the way down. So no icing as they're shorthanded. 12-15 to go in a scoreless opening stanza. Peeling back on it now is Bauman. The great Bauman drops it off. And so May over the red line, dumping it in. That went off a stick. Doesn't get in deep. Sent ahead now behind the D was Laflamme for a moment as he was looking to break free. Over the blue line now, wheeling and dealing. Bordage on the backhand. He scores! Benjamin Bordet got behind the D. Let the backhand shot go. It beat Kosher. A power play goal for Somme. And they take the lead with just under 12 minutes to go here. One to nothing is the score. Beautiful backhand shot it, it there. It looked like he was behind the goal line, but I guess not. It just flipped over the goalie's pad, I guess. I, I don't know what happened. Too many bodies in front. I couldn't really see. Well, the backhand is always the most difficult shot to stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you can't tell where it's going. So a good backhand is a deadly weapon, which is exactly what Gordie Howe told Wayne Gretzky to work on when he met him as a young 10-year-old. He said, work on your backhand, son. And that's why Wayne Gretzky is better than Gordie Howe. He worked on his backhand. And he listened to him. And when he broke Gordie Howe's record as a Los Angeles king, he scored it on the backhand. Well, there you have it. some people would say that's karma. <laughs> yeah. And Saying, on it now. Like, Derosier's hey. in the corner, got it back to Tellier Pelletier, back for Derosier's. So Norwich trailing, one to nothing now, the goal moments ago by Bordes. Hitting the trailer now, walking in, pulling the trigger, nice stop there by Kosher. Great. As Sorn came right up the gut. I thought Sorn had a great game last night. Oh, yeah, great heads up play by Kosher, though. To get the flipper on it. Oh, well, not a flipper, but, I mean, get the glove on that and... It was just a good play in general. He got the glove on it, like I said, and he makes sure to catch it in the right spot so it doesn't bounce out. Made a nice good stop play. there. A nice rush right up the gut there by Sorn. Sorn had that beautiful pass in overtime. He sauced it across. Oh, yeah. Right on the stick, Odege. That was a beautiful pass. A great saucer. Bauman couldn't handle it at the blue line. He comes back to the red line. Good pressure there by Nyfors. As it's sent in now, Laflamme quickly in on it there. Laflamme causing havoc, causes the turnover, comes away with it. Yeah, that's Corval Kearns right there in the slot for a moment, but couldn't get it to him as Cartledge will pinch in. Nice play there by the senior Cartledge, get it to the senior Knife Force. Knife Force out there, Williams on left D now, Knife Force. Trying to get it down low, taken away, back comes Somay now. Somay down the left wing, sliding it across, right on the stick there, Bodez. Bodez. Cross corner dumping, Cartledge over to get to it quickly. 
Cartledge on it there. Cartledge trying to get the puck up. Does get it up the right wing. And away they come down. Laflamme. Did they stay on sides? No is the call there. I thought that they did. Mirano dragging the right foot behind him. But off sides is the call. It's hard to stop and wait for the player to cross the line and then go and get that rebound because then the defenseman's just right there. It's hard to stop and then go right back. But that's why that's why we have practice. Hard to get the momentum going once again, you're right. Knocking it down, sending it back in there. Scotty Cottis. I think I got it right. Two on one down low now, sliding off the stick. Lavodage. Along the boards now, trying to get it out. Kept in at the blue line. They're digging their mucky. Nice play by Mirano to get it loose. Bodies go flying there. Mirano sends the man flying. Tumbling over Trudeau there was Guru. Mirano causing havoc as he's done all season long. And last season. Over the blue line now. Trying to get it back in front. Cutting to the cooker. Nice play there. Kosher intentionally steering that off into the corner. As Maverick Hool was heading right into the... Goal mouth there. Nice stop there by Kosher. Not just a save, but purposely, very purposely directing that aggressively into the corner. Turnover at the blue line. Broken up there by Belcourt. As Bradford almost gave it up at the blue line. Turning on it now, Nightforce. Nightforce got a man ahead. Tried to get it there. Bradford got back. Got the stick on it. His speller was breaking away. Stepping to the outside now, Bradford. Bradford, nice job by Aguilera to take the body, but good puck support down the wing. Tellier Pelletier came over to take away the real estate. And a bouncing puck there. Came loose for Night Force. Night Force trying to get it out. And up along the boards now. Tellier Pelletier will send it high on the glass. And it's knocked down by Sorn. Night Force trying to get to it. If he can get to it, it'll be a two-on-one. He did get to it. Trying to get it back in front now. Down low. They score! The turnover inside the blue line. Night Force got it down to DeRozier. DeRozier got it in front. And Krager. At the side of the net, buries the biscuit for Norwich. They tie the affair. One to one is the score. Quick turnover. Making so may pay at the blue line as Night Force caused the turnover. And burying the biscuit down low was Vinnie Krager. Another one of our excellent seniors. Yeah, the senior scoring on senior day. That's why you cannot turn the puck over at your own blue line. It's always trouble. All your team's momentum's going one way. All of a sudden, they got to reverse it back the other way. Krieger with the goal. On the backhand, trying to get a loose in front with DeRozier. And that's the side now, Floris Moorman. Moorman, excuse me, getting it up ahead now for Robin Moorman, but offside at the blue line. So under nine minutes to go now, one-to-one -one is the score. The goal moments ago by Vinnie Krager. And so you got to be very careful at your own blue line. Got to make sure that that puck gets out, especially with the talent level that both of these teams have. Icing is better than a turnover. Oh, yeah. Because then you have a chance of getting the puck. And the faceoff now just outside the Norwich zone. As Somme wins the draw, they send it in. As Kosher knocks it down. That was a good job by Kosher to corral that puck. Oh, yeah. It was not an easy play. No. I was never good at that. I would, like, I would just stay in the net and watch the puck go around. Beautiful outlet pass now sliding across from Morrison. And I wasn't a good enough skater to get behind the net quickly enough to get the close. <laughs> I wasn't. And then get back to the net. Oh, that's, that's a long way. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> easy for you to say. <laughs> Up ahead now. The Rozier tried to get it back to Morrison, but ends up on the stick now quickly. And down the left wing goes Page. Page will dump it in. In the corner now, Gagnon. Gagnon let it run for Morrison. Morrison still with it. Morrison at the blue line. Morrison with room all of a sudden. Morrison turned around. Had a lot of real estate there. Slides it across now. Cartledge knocks it down. Cartledge pouring at it there. Cartledge pulled down. Play allowed to continue as Bourdais pulled him down. On and now Morrison. He'll play it back to the D. Quickly up for Night Force. Night Force has got a step at the blue line at the dot. Walking in. Pull from behind. Might we see a penalty shot here? Let's see what the ref calls here. The ref. I don't think so. Let's see. He hasn't put his hands over his head just yet. Hooking is the call. I thought Night Force may have been in the clear. We might have gotten a penalty shot, but oh, none yeah. coming. Yeah, it definitely should be a penalty shot. Yeah, I thought it was a possibility. 
Uh, Bel Belcourt. You know you can deny a penalty shot? Did you know that? You can opt for the power hole? Yep. I did not know that. I learned that recently. Oh, you didn't? See, I don't know everything. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. You don't have to take the penalty shot. Yeah, some you people to, you have to some people shootout. prefer to play. Uh, do, but if you take the penalty shot, Your then you don't get a power play. If you take, correct. It's one or the other. That's right. Whether some people would rather not. take the penalty shot because it's like, um, it depends on what player it is, too. Here comes Laflamme now with speed. Laflamme on the backhand, cutting to the cooker. Was Tellier Feltier, that just failed to click. Good job by the goaltender to poke that away. Otherwise, that was going to be a sure goal in my for, in my opinion. Boy, I'll tell you something. I am going to miss watching Felix Antoine Laflamme skate. He's oh, a yeah. beautiful skater. He gets the full stride in about it. I love and a half just watching steps. all of these forwards and he can really defensemen fly. and linesmen seniors go. And goalie seniors. Nye fours now. Ali Nye fours. Carrying the puck out. Cross now. Right on the stick of Tellier Pelletier. Beautiful pass. Oh, uh, another saucer pass. It was about a 50 foot pass right on the stick, but broken up nicely by the defense of Somme Academy. Leaving it now. Rescoval Kearns. A minute left to go on the power play. Six and a half to go here in the opening stanza. The Norwich Hockey Club over the blue line, swiping at it, getting it in is Tellier Pelletier. That's a good play by Tellier Pelletier to get it in deep, pouring at it now, looking to keep it in. Was Laflamme, got it to Krager. Now they'll set up shop, does Norwich. Their power play deadly as ever. Laflamme, Laflamme pulls the trigger, a laser beam there. The netminder never saw it as it oh. buzzed the tower there. Oh, yeah. What a shot by Laflamme. He let that go quick. Laflamme was just like, hey, permission to buzz the tower? Permission granted. <laughs> And here they are cycling it now. Back for Laflamme. Laflamme at the top of the circle, walking in with room, sends it down to the goal line. Trying to go back door. That went off the pad. There's Kreger. Gets it right back. Vinny Kreger tucked from behind. Good show of strength there. Sliding it across. C button one timer goes off the mask of the O. And out to center. What a pass. What a shot there. And we are back to even strength as the power kill. play has expired for Norwich. So five on five with five and a half to go. What a stop there. Here's Laflamme now letting the shot go. That one just missed on the waffle side. He comes away to center ice. Knocked down. Cartledge. Cartledge will send it back in. Chasing it down now is Speller. Bodies collide at center ice. I think we got a delayed penalty coming up here against Norwich. I think it's going to be a high sticking call. Bradford over the blue line. Bradford lost the handle on it. Touched up. So it's going to be a power play now for Somme. That's a whack to the face right there. Yeah, I didn't see it. I just saw the. Oh young, yeah, well, I he just was saw the young man holding in, his face. He was getting shoved and whacked by that guy. Yep. Uh, sticking is had, the call. Cartledge had, a, had enough of that and just whacked him. Cool. Lost his cool a little He's bit. Done, Cartledge. Good. I'm so confused why Marno is in the penalty box. He didn't get a penalty. I don't think he did. At least. Not that I know of. I don't remember seeing any 10 minute no. misconduct on there. There's room on the bench, too. I don't know. Maybe he's just hanging up. Or the coach sat him. I don't know why, though. He's a great player. Garou now down the right wing with it. So second power play there. One for one thus far is Somme. As they work it around, back to behind the net now. Out, out for Donovan Odege. Odege got it down low. Deflected. Nice job there. To lift up the leg there by Garou and keep it in, but sent all the way down. Biel. Leaves it behind the net now for Maverick Hull. Hull takes it from his goaltender. Morrison causing havoc there, almost causing the turnover. Oh, Odege he, got it quickly up to Trudeau. He did, Trudeau cause, offside. He, he did cause a turnover until, until the goalie poked it away from Morrison, and then it went to the defenseman. It was great play by the goalie and great play by defense to get in the right position. These so many sweaters are interesting. The, the Carolina Hurricane colors and... Carolina Hurricane patches on the bottom there. Oh, yeah. And the Somme logo. Oh, I love Somme's jerseys. I like the shorts. And the socks. I, I love the maple leaf on it. It's just... It's, yeah, it's, it looks it's, nice. It looks nice well, on the shorts. Oh, any, all any GS. Like, if I had to pick the top dog of the outfit of the day, I would definitely pick Somme. It's like they have so many colors like the Blackhawks on the NHL. Like, they got, they got a lot going on, though. Uh, it's very yeah. busy. That's what I like about it. Yeah, you do. Okay. And they got that the nice dots on the bottom too. That's the, the hurricane. And the maple leaves on the pants. It's just that one up in the rafters will be blown dead. 
Just over four minutes to go here. In the opening stanza, one-to-one -one is the score. A minute remaining, and just under a minute on the Somain power play. And about four and a half, and about four minutes and five seconds left in the period. Still tied one to one in the first. It's a great play so far. It's been a lower scoring game than yesterday, but I, I'm not expecting it to end here. No, I certainly wouldn't say that no more goals are going to be scored, but you never oh, know. Oh, no. Well, you Blue still got to go into overtime and shootouts. So. I'm pretty sure it goes in shootouts. That's the handle on it. Kicking it to himself now was Cote. Mm -hmm. And as they regroup now, looking to break out of their own zone. Good job there, hounding them by Krager. And up now comes Cote. Cote down the right wing. Cote protecting the puck, putting the brakes on. Cote with a nice move there to protect the puck. Got it back to the blue line. Now he gets it back. Cote walking in, down to the goal line it goes now. Back straight away. Ooh, looking to pull the trigger. Couldn't get it away there. Excuse me, that was Bauman. Now Bauman gets it back. Bauman letting the shot go. Fighting it off was kosher. And stopped there by Kosher, bouncing puck, kept in at the blue line. Good job by the defense to knock that away quickly, and they're, they're lucky that it went up, too. Oh, Norwich might have had too many men on the ice there for a moment as Night Force hopped on. Didn't, well, look, it's didn't look like Cartilage was completely off the ice, but they got away with it. Out to center ice it goes now. That's knocked down with under three minutes to go. Page plays it across for Kelly. Kelly's got a man ahead. Night Force tried to get it to him. Odege. Knocked it down. And that should be offsides. Offsides is the call. That's a big play there by Donovan Odege as he knocked it down. Then didn't touch it because he didn't want the whistle. And then Norwich went offside. So everything worked out Odege's favor on that one. The overtime winner last night by that young lad on the backhand. All right, leaning in now to take the draw. Esquivel Kearns. He wins it. Norwich gaining possession. Page. Over to Kelly. Kelly gains the red line and he'll dump it in. Knife Force. He'll chase it down into the corner. Knife Force will dislodge the puck. Trying to get it in front. Had a man cutting to the cooker there. That was Speller. Hopped over his stick. Speller doing battle. In the corner. Got it out in front. Dangerously there. Went right through the goal mouth. Oh, yeah. A great job by Speller to win that puck. He went in there. He was the only Norwich player there. There were two so main players. Yeah. And Speller got it in front. Giveaway now to Knife Force at the dot. Trying to slide it across the speller at the back door. And that's twice now Night Force has caused turnovers in the zone. Oh, yeah. Good opportunities. Two minutes to go now. Down the left wing. Letting the shot go off the glass and back out to center ice it comes. Back down there by Guru. Guru will leave it for Page. Page lost the handle on it. Sent behind the net now. Chasing it down there is Savic. Warner Savic dangerously right up the gut there. Boy, I tell you. So may a little bit lackadaisical in their own end with the puck here today. They were much more cautious yesterday. Oh, yeah. A couple of giveaways in their own zone. But well, I mean, they have caused turnovers today, so. Back the other I mean, way now. Have, Over the blue uh, line, walking in, letting the shot go. They score! A beautiful wrist shot there. As they broke in over the blue line, let the shot go and put it top shelf. That's Benjamin Bourdais' second goal. Of the afternoon. Trying to get that solar top dog of the affair. Trying to get his ice cream on the way home. The long car ride back all the way to Canada. So his second goal. So a hat trick alert has been issued here. For Norwich, Connecticut for Benjamin Boger. Well, so much for Somme Academy being loosey-goosey in their own end with the puck. <laughs> How are you feeling, Mr. Broadcaster, pointing that out? <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Behind the net now it goes. So 2-1 to one is the score with a minute 15 to go here in the opening stanza. Assisted by Oliver Page getting the assist. Norwich looking to get the equalizer before the buzzer sounds here. The end of the opening stanza, Knife Wars. In the corner, lost the handle on it, sent away to center. Tracking it down there is Cartledge. Cartledge with a rolling puck on the backhand, couldn't get it out. Now it does come out the center. Knife Wars will slide it across for the flop. 45 seconds to go here in the opening stanza. Two to one the score. Chipped ahead. Now Kringer was behind the D. Rolls to the net nine to VL. And there'll be no further play. 42 seconds left to go here. And in the opening stanza, two to one. So Maine leading it. Two goals by Benjamin Bordes. So, yeah. So, like you said, Declan, if he gets the hat trick, 
And he gets the name with flavored ice cream that they have to get on the way home back to Quebec. Yeah. Uh, get a lot of ice cream. That's a long ride. Oh, yeah. A little bit of pushing and shoving now here. And the ref says, all right, fine. If that's the way you're going to be, a timeout for each of you. Rogers is headed off, as is, I believe that's Bauman. And the two got together there, had a disagreement. And two each for misbehaving. Well, the face-off deep now still, I believe, in the Somagnon. Somagnon zone. <laughs> Tried to add French into zone there. All right, Speller leaning in to take the draw now. Number eight in your scorecard. Now, they tell you in broadcasting school and they tell you in life these days not to have favorites. But Instead of number nine, they chose number eight. Of Speller. And Speller sends his man flying. Behind the net it goes now. On it there, Odege. Odege hounded from behind by Page. Got it back to the blue line. 25 seconds to go. Sidestepping the D there. Savick, Savick got it down low. Bouncing puck to the dot. Pulling the trigger. That just missed. Getting a lot on it there. Looking for the hat trick was Baudet. He would have had the natural hat trick. He could have named what flavor ice cream they had in between periods. Oh, yeah. I don't know if the and maybe another hat trick next that. period. Oh, then he gets the name what topping they get on top. Sprinkles, colored, peanuts, walnuts, things of that ilk. <laughs> All right. Well, there's the buzzer, ladies and gentlemen. The opening stanza comes to a close. Your score at the end of one. So main two, the Norwich Hockey Club one. We'll be right back. In about 10 minutes, with the start of the second stanza, you are watching the Solu Broadcasting Network. I'm your host, Scotty Bonner, along here with my color man, Franklin Dempsey, and our camera lady. <laughs> Lovely and talented Miss Michelle. All right, we'll be back in a few moments, in about 10 minutes. Thank you so much for joining us.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Solo Broadcasting Network. The Zamboni has done what Zambonis do. I hope you had a fantastic intermission. Hope you got that sarsaparilla poured high and cold. And I hope you're ready for the second stanza as the boys are coming back out on the ice now. Two to one is the score. So Main Academy with two goals by number 56, Benjamin Bourdais. One on the power play. Is there one for two on the power play? And Vincent Krager, the goal scorer here for Norwich, as they are 0 for 1 on the power play. It's senior day, ladies and gentlemen, as Norwich has honored their 12 seniors. I think it's 12. I keep saying 12. Is that correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, no, 11. 
I think 11. Trying to count the uh, the banners, not the banners, the oak tag that they got. 1, 2, 3, 12. 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yes, 11, 12. One is on the door. Good job. Hey, that, there it is. Oh, no, that's the other door there. I'm looking at the door on the camera. <laughs> the door is open. Okay, so it is 12 seniors. Oh, good job by the camera lady there. All right, the boys are back out on the ice. I don't believe any power play carried over from the opening stanza. So Somme leading this one. Two to one. They won last night in overtime. Another good affair here this afternoon. The final one of the season here for the Norwich Hockey Club, the Norwich Boys. And the final broadcast of the season for the Solu Broadcasting Network. Not sure what we're going to do with ourselves next weekend. Probably catch up on some sleep. All right. One of the two officials getting ready to drop the puck. As the second stands are about ready to get underway here. Looks like Speller. He's going to get the start out there with Cartledge, Williams, Ollie Nyfors, and Vinnie Krager. And Kosher remains in between the pipes for Norwich. Down at the other end, Viel leans in between the pipes as Odege leans in to take the draw against Krager. Odege wins the draw right back to his goaltender. That's a shot on goal, technically. And even though it was sent in by his own players, the goaltender doesn't stop it. It's a goal, therefore, by definition, it's a shot on goal. Trudeau now putting the brakes on. Trudeau protecting the puck along the boards. Got it out in front. Now letting the shot go. Deflected off Williams and into the corner. Nifor has got to it there. Couldn't get it out. Kept in at the blue line. Letting the shot go. Gobbled up like a biscuit on Thanksgiving by the netminder, Noah Kosher. And then there'll be no further play. All right, the face-off deep. And in the Norwich Hockey Club zone, Norwich skating from your left to your right. So, Mays, skating from your right to your left on your screen. And here's Cartledge now. Cartledge up ahead. Norwich getting the puck out. Bouncing puck. They do get it away to center. Krager. Krager did a real nice job to corral the puck and an even better job to sidestep the defenseman who was draped all over him. But now it comes away to center. Knocked down at center ice. Quickly on it there was Tellier Pelletier. Got it across. Tried to get it for Night Force. Just a little bit behind him. As he had a little bit of a step there down the left wing. And sending it up now and all the way in and back, ladies and gentlemen, from the snack bar is our color man, Mr. Declan Dempsey. Hello. Up ahead now over the blue line. Quickly now, Soren Soren. Got it out in front. Going down to block it. A beautiful defensive play there. As Morrison went down to take away the low ice and broke up the two-on-one. Bodies collide behind the net there. The ref, 650 feet away, got his arm in the air. Because he could see it clearly from there. Slashing is the call. Another example of why we don't need two officials. So another power play now for Solmain Academy. Slashing is the call. He was seriously inside the other team's blue line when he made that call down at the Norwich goal line. I mean, he's allowed to. He's got the orange stripe. He's got the authority. <laughs> Nothing you could do about it. Got to respect his authority, as the great Eric Cartman once said. Hard around now, kept in at the blue line, so a power play for Somain. As they slide it across, trying to settle it down there with Savick. He sends it down low, Savick, calling for it back, but it never returned. Hard around it goes now, Cote, Cote. Trying to get it down low. Bodies collide there along the boards. Norwich trying to get it out. They're digging, they're mucking, they're doing their homework. That comes loose now for Sorn. Sorn behind the net. Sorn putting the brakes on. Sorn at the goal line. Sorn with it there. Sorn taking his time. Sorn slid it out across now, letting the shot go. Beautiful job sliding across to get the stick in the shooting lane. There's a great was Daniel save. Morrison. What a great play by Morrison there as he came sliding across to block that shot. He had to react very quickly there, did he, Declan? Oh, yeah. I love Morrison's um, enthusiasm to get to the – he's so enthusiastic, and I love his positive his positive energy and just the will to get to the puck and to make sure that he's protecting his goaltender, even though he's a forward. That was a great play there by Morrison. As he got the stick in the shooting lane, he made a play. Earlier on the shift, that was fantastic as well. So very good penalty kill for number 13 in white thus far. Yep. Over the blue line, shifting the outside now. 
Scotty Dacus got it back to the blue line. And the shot go. They score. Julian Bauman lets the wrist shot go. It's a power play goal. And three to one is the score now as Somain opens up a two goal lead. A beautiful shot there by Bauman. As he let the shot go and found its way to the inside of the post, and three to one is the score. Did he score the first two goals? No, Borges did. Oh. He's, that's his first goal of the afternoon. Because I remember that the name great from Bauman. yesterday. Well, that's because we were—I was talking about it from the movie Victory, the great Bauman. All right, the face-off now going to come at center ice. Three to one is the score. So Norwich, they're going to have to respond here. So Maine. Responded yesterday when they were down by two. We'll see if Norwich can have the same push here today. Over the blue line lane, the shot go, Cresselis. Xavier Cresselis let that shot go. Nice stop there by the netminder, Kosher. That's sent ahead, knocked down. So Maine with now 14 minutes and 10 seconds left to go. Sent in now, Laflamme giving chase. Laflamme against Guru. Laflamme got it out in front, came all the way back. And out to center ice as it's tracked down there by Aguilera. Aguilera sent it over. Quickly up for Laflamme. Laflamme wheeling and dealing. Poke checked away at the blue line. Nice poke check there by Guru. Bodies collide at center ice as that's sent in. Knocked down. Tellier Pelletier on it there. He'll send it up and out to center. On the backhand, dangerously there, went right through the stick of Laflamme. He's on the backhand now. Somain turning it over inside the blue line. They've done it a couple of times here today, but last time I mentioned it, they scored. So now another turnover down low, trying to get to it, letting the shot go. Five hole, big stop by Biel. Loose on the side of the net. The net came off with protective moorings as Nathan DeRosiers was down low there for the opportunity. A nice stop there by VL. 13-15 left to go here in the second stanza. 3-1 to one is the score. And you're watching the Solu Broadcasting Network. I am your host, Scotty Bonner. As it comes away now, from center ice, that's knocked down. And chasing after it. There is Savick. Savick will send it in. No icing. But the, the ref waved it off and then decided to call it. Okay, so icing is the call. I swear I saw him wave it off. Uh, yeah. Right? I'm not just seeing things. No. I, okay. I mean, you might be, but I, I mean. might be. All right. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't mean I'm not seeing. That means I wasn't seeing things on that instant. doesn't mean I'm not seeing <laughs> things in general. You're right. One does not reflect the other, necessarily. Uh, the Rosiers. Well, just because I'm not seeing anything at that moment doesn't mean that I'm never not seeing it. Well, I, would, I mean, unless you're blind, but... Sent all the way down, and that one, I saw the ref wave it off again, but I'm not going to get excited about it. Nope. On and now is Kelly behind the net, so no icing. All right, reality like confirming what the eyes yeah. see. Sent ahead, bodies collide at center ice. That's going to be icing down at the other end. So 12.30, 12.40 left to go, excuse me. 3-1 to one to score. Second period goal here by Julian Bauman. Well, so Maine Academy. So Maine in the black sweaters, skating from your right to your left. Norwich in the white sweaters from your left to your right. Second stanza brought to us by our good friends at Paul Johnson Builders and General Contractors. We'll get more about Paul Johnson Builders in just a moment. As Feller. Tried to get the puck out, came to Williams. Williams moved it along, rolling puck, and that's waved off. On and now behind the neck is Hool. Hool sending it hard around. Touched up there by Cote. And that's knocked down by Vinnie Krager. Krager in his own zone now with it. And he leaves it for Cartledge. Cartledge trying to hit the long outlet pass. Bouncing wasn't on size. They say it was, as Nyforce was behind the D for a quick moment. Cycling the wagons now, Bordet. Bordet's already got two, cutting the inside. Excuse me, that was Branford. Big stop there. The flipper from Kosher. Kosher getting the other flipper on it. Went behind the goaltender, letting the shot go. That hit Cartledge behind the goaltender. Oh, my goodness. 
So Maine came within inches of making it four to one, but Cartledge. You can see Cartledge smiling behind that. That's amazing. He's going to let the goaltender know in the locker room, I'm sure. He's going to say, hey, buddy, you owe me a Gatorade. I'm doing your job. <laughs> That's sent in now. Speller, oh, he almost knocked that down and at the net was joining there. Here's Cartledge, who Moon Knights as a goaltender. Came back to Cartledge. Cartledge lost the handle on it at center ice. It was knocked away there by Scotty Takis. The big hit there in the neutral zone as bodies go flying. Sent in by Morrison. Speller will track it down. Speller chopping at the man there. And I think we're going to get a penalty here to Speller. And as he took a two-handed Paul Bunyan-esque-like chop. Yeah, can't argue with that one from the official. I got to be honest. Much as I am a fan of Paris's game, don't get me wrong, but that one was a little bit too easy for the official as he wound up with two hands. You got to make it at least a little discreet. <laughs> So the power play once again now for Somme Academy. They're two for three already on the power play. So a big moment here in the game as they look to go up three to nothing. Face off deep in the Norwich zone with 11-10 left to go. Aguilera turning on it there. Aguilera got it back to the blue line. That was knocked down. Turning with it there was Sorn. He lost the handle on it. And behind the net it goes again now. Aguilera hard around, coming over. Nice job to keep it in there by Savick. Savick with the hard cross corner dump. They still have possession as Night Force chops at it. Night Force will come away with it now with two on two shorthanded with Laflamme. Laflamme deadly shorthanded down the left wing. Got Night Force cutting to the cooker. Got it there. Night Force deflected it. And it went off the heel of his stick. Never got to the goaltender. Quickly now back the other way. Over the blue line they come now. Cote. Cote. Had a man cutting to the cooker there. That was Gaber Sorn. And he couldn't connect. And rolls all the way to the goaltender, VL. VL! That rolled on him for a moment there. As Laflamme came flying through and took a, a chop there to the lowers. That's going to be the slashing or spearing. Spearing. Might be spearing, yeah. We'll see what the ref has in store here. Laflamme was... Pursuing the rebound there as the goaltender was covering it. And then he took a chop to where you don't want to take a chop. No. No, no, no. Savage, no, no, no. let's see what the call is. Is it slashing? Or slashing is the call. Is it just two minutes, though? Yeah. It might be more than two. Just because of the nature of the thing. <laughs> no, it's only two minutes. All right, so Borna Savic, two minutes for slashing. Should be spearing, but whatever. Uh, At least it's a penalty. I don't know if it was really, if it was a spear or not, it was. All right, so it's going to be four on four for a minute 14. And then it'll be a power play for Norwich for 46 seconds. You got to love uh, Rosier. Flom's energy because he's still, he's at the bench, he's standing up, he's, he's shaking it off. He's just, he's toughening it out. He's such a good player that he could just work right through the pain. Right, he's a lot tougher than me. If that happened to me, I'd be out a week to 10 days. Aguilera pulled his man down. As going by was Trudeau. No call. Play allowed to continue. On around now. As Krager took a big hit there from Trudeau. Is Trudeau going to get a penalty for that? No, it wasn't the hit on Krager. There was something behind. It was prior? Him. Okay. It was prior. Okay. Well, let's see who's headed to the sin bin here. Slashing is the call. Yeah, it's not on that hit. I think you're right. All right, so it's going to be a power play now immediately for Norwich. We're not going to have to wait another 35 seconds. So it's going to be four on three for 35 seconds, and then it's going to be a two-man advantage for about 46 seconds after that. So a big opportunity here for Norwich to climb back into the affair. And the slashing is the call. And the faceoff going to come deep. And the Somain zone leaning in is Laflamme. Laflamme back from the slash he took. As he shook it off like Declan said he would. As they win the draw now, look to set up. Kelly with it now, down low. He puts the brakes on, does William Kelly. Back for Knife Wars. Nobody in front of the goaltender, though. A four-on-three advantage right now for another 26 seconds. Then it'll become a five-on-three. Knife Wars with it. Knife Wars walks the line, lets the shot go. That hit a body on the way in. As it was blocked out high there by Hu. Hu shaking at his mitt there. That looked like it hurt. 
Knife Wars. He lets the shot go. That just missed. As it's knocked down by Kelly. Kelly got it down low now to Page. Page back for Knife Wars. Knife Wars will walk the line. Knife Wars with it. Knife Wars stepping to the outside. Left it full of Flom. Flom dropping it off now. A five on three for Norwich. Walking in, pulling the trigger. Big stop there by VL, and there'll be no further play. Five on three for 38 seconds, and then Norwich would be back on the power play for a minute 17. They're still on the power play, but after the 38 seconds, so it'll just be a normal power play for about 50, 40 seconds. And it'll be a five on four after that, unless they score here. In the opening 38 seconds of the five on three, they sure would like to. Even if they score right here, then one of the only one of them gets to come out. They would still be on the power play. That is correct. Here's Knife Wars now off the draw. He slides it across. Tellier Pelletier trying to go to the back door. He had Krager lurking. But it was blocked out high and sent all the way down. On and now is Knife Wars. Knife Wars behind the net with speed. 20 seconds remaining on the two-man advantage. Up ahead now is Laflam. Laflam puts the brakes on. Flom back for Knife Force. Knife Force walks the line. Knife Force with room. One of the players there has lost his stick. Walking in, pulling the trigger. Big stop by VL. So it's a two and a half man advantage here. And we are on the five Norwich. on four again. Now we're back to five on four for 40 seconds. But one of the so main players has lost his stick. Sorn. Here's a chance now at the back door. They score! Gorgeous puck movement as Laflam slid it over to Kranger. Kreger buried the biscuit. I'll tell you, Norwich had to take advantage of that. Oh, they had a two-man advantage, and one of the players lost their stick, so that would have been a big missed opportunity there, but not as the case as Norwich has cut the lead in half now. Three to two is your score. I'm going to try and update the scoreboard for you folks. The scoreboard not updating, but I assure you the score is 3-2. to two. Sometimes we're at the mercy of technology here, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see what we can do. We'll get that hopefully corrected for you. So Laflam slid it over to Krager. Krager buried the biscuit at the back door. They tried that a couple of times. So three to two is the score. Don't let your eyes deceive you. We'll get it fixed. Now Don't we'll believe take it everything you see or hear, though. I mean. <laughs> that is right, Declan. Behind the back net now, DeRosier got it out in front. Bouncing puck. Morrison. Trying to corral it there was Morrison, but couldn't come away with it. Now so Maine will get the puck in. Behind the net will go now. On in there, DeRosier. Roger will send it all the way down. That's going to go for icing. I bet you after the game, he's going to say he has a hole in his stick. <laughs> uh, that's what my grandma always says when I play tennis. Oh, I have a hole in my racket. That's why I missed the swing. Oh, so I icing is the call. All right, the face-off now. Deep in the Norwich zone as they look to come away with it. Bouncing puck for Knife Force. Knife Force with it there. Dishing it down to Felix Antoine Laflamme as he flicks it ahead of him, dashing towards the net. Laflamme dashing towards the net. Beautifully put, Declan. Back the other way now. Quickly with it. Page, Page, the defenseman fell down. Page got it out in front. Behind. That wasn't Paige. That was Chris Williams. Letting the shot. No, Paige was the offense. Oh, Paige was. They the have offense. a Paige as well. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm, I always get confused on that. That's okay. Yeah, they have a Paige, and we have a Paige. Uh, Turn the page. Oh, on it yeah. now. Who? Who? Letting the shot go. That just missed. Maybe. Maybe they're long lost cousins or brothers. They could be. We're not sure if they are related. We'll have to look it up. Or if they all like Bubba and Falls. Is Vincent Paige from Canada? I mean, because this team's from Canada. I don't know. Trying to get it back out in front, wheeling and dealing. Got it back to the blue line, and Knife Force with it there. Knife Force trying to get it up now. Laflam, Laflam trying to catch it up. Laflam at the goal line, tough angle shot. Yell just stood there and let it hit him. Calmly, the goaltender of Yell didn't. Really, he was just like, all right, well, you're not going to score from there. Got to like the confidence of the goaltender there. And as pulled down, bodies go flying and back the other way now. Comes Sorn. 
Soren stepping to the outside. Soren with the puck. 3-2 to two is the score. He lets the shot go. That's deflected up high. Norwich on it there. May get it out to center. And as Murano was taken out there, I think you're going to get an interference call, a power play. Coming up here, another one. And here for Norwich. They scored on their last power play. They're one for three. So now their fourth power play of the afternoon. Good job by Murano. He didn't take that hit. He's like, oh, no, you're not interfering me. And, and if you are, I'm just going to knock you down. And that's what Murano did right there. That was a good job by Murano to sacrifice himself for the good of the team. Oh, yeah. He's like, well, there's going to be a penalty anyway, so. And the faceoff going to come deep now. In the so main zone. And Norwich Hockey Club dishes it back to. Night for us, Atelier <laughs> Pelletier. Great job by. The flam dishes it over to Pelletier, and he just fumbles on that. On it now, Esquivel Kearns. Thank you, Declan. Good job. Here's Tellier Pelletier sliding it across, looking for that back door again for Krager. That time it was Laflam. That goes off a leg to Nyforce. Nyforce with it there. Nyforce slide it over for Laflam. Behind the net it goes now. On and now Norwich. Wheeling and dealing with it is Krager. Krager for Nyforce. Nyforce back for Krager. 125 to go. Sliding it across Laflam at the dot. He pulls it through. He scores! Felix Antoine Laflam! Oh, you got to love that name, Scotty. The gorgeous pass from Kreger. I do love that name. You're absolutely right. Oh, yeah. You got you got a three-digit name, and it's amazing. The score is now tied 3-3, three to three, not 3-1. Three there three have to been three. two goals for NHC in the past five minutes. It's been an amazing game so far, and this is why I love hockey. <laughs> Excellent answer there, Mr. Declan. All right, we are going to... Get the score on the bottom of the screen for everybody. As NAC dishes it a big hit there, uh, number 66. And he seems to be okay as Morrison pushes the puck. All right, we'll keep you updated. The so score now on the bottom of the screen. Back. Walking in, letting the shot go. We apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The scoreboard started to miss malfunction, but we got it. Three to three. You see it on the bottom of your screen there on the on the scroller. So yes. three to three is the score. We can update it there. We always got a backup plan here on the Solu. Letting the shot go. That just missed. So three to three. Laflam from Krager. And moments ago, it was Krager from Laflam, both on the power play. So that's what you call a reverse deja vu right there. A big glitch in the matrix. That's cutting to the cooker there with Morrison. And he couldn't connect. What a beautiful passing play, though, moments ago by NHC. Oh, their, yeah. Their power play has been deadly all season oh, long. Their power play is just deadly in general, even last season, but this season's definitely better. And it was deadly last season. You're absolutely right. So 3-3 three to three is their score, ladies and gentlemen. And as the faceoff. Coming deep. And it looks like Speller will take that. No. Kreger will take that, actually. Kreger taking the face off for Norwich. Kreger dishes it back to the defense, and there will be a redo of that. Something the ref didn't like. No. Kreger take, will take the face off again. And see if we get the same result. All right. So the face off deep in the Norwich zone yet again. Oh, as no, Kreger they have to switch to out people. As was no, Krager Krager does not have to leave. Odejay does, though. Oh, Krager asked to stay. Or still invited to stay, I guess we could say. <laughs> as okay. Dacus leans in to take the draw, he wins it now. Odejay letting the shot go. Steered aside by Kosher. Nine fours. Couldn't get it out. Great job there. Stretching to keep it in by <laughs> Bauman. Kicked ahead by Speller. That's a great play by the defenseman to keep that in. It was. Nice Stop play by Speller to get it out. Body. On it quickly there is Kelly. Kelly trying to get the puck out. Ends up on the stick of Speller. Speller goes high off the glass. Dangerously that one came out of play. It's still rolling. Man, that one went up and over the glass there. Oh, yeah. 
I thought that was going back in the thing, and then as soon as I heard the thud, I'm like, yo, what happened? That one Who just got kept hit? on going. So 3-3 three to three is the score, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize. The score will be updated on the bottom of the screen now on the ticker. So, like I said, we, are, we always have a backup plan. Oh, yeah. You can't have a plan sometimes without having a backup plan. You, you got to have a backup plan sometimes make sure before you have a plan. Otherwise, you don't really have a plan, do you? You just have hope. No. <laughs> Down the right wing now, losing a handle on it. Norwich carried it back in, so it's on sides. Good job by the officiating crew there. Craig passes it over to Smeller, getting shoved. I think the ref looking good. Pass it back to Kreger, but Kreger Quickly now, that. Cote. Cote will drop it off for Savic. As Cote gets it back, Cote takes the hit, but cycles it down low. On and there now is Bradford. Bradford got it in front. They score! A quick tic-tac-toe play there. As Luca Cote got to the cooker, he deflects it home for Somain. And they regain the lead here. Four to three is the score with just over three minutes left to go. There in the second stanza. Good puck movement there by Somain. And it has been updated at the bottom of the screen because the top <laughs> is not working. But like As the Cote. coach always tells me, aim for the bottom of the net if you're a defenseman to get that rebound in. Oh yeah, you gotta the shoot. Bottom works, top doesn't. You gotta shoot low. The oh, idea, yeah. the idea of shooting high is is leaving. Even the NHL guys aren't trying to go high that much anymore. No, that's how that Matthews. goal went in there. Austin Matthews shooting low all the time. Bedard shooting low all the time. Uh, McDavid shooting see, low. Well, not all the time, but yeah, majority but you see, of the time. You see Bedard getting some pretty nasty shots from no angles. Yeah, he's pretty Top good. Cheddar. He's pretty good. And then oh, the new yeah. move in the NHL, too, is cutting away from the glove and then shooting back at the glove. That's the new That's the new hot thing. Well, goaltenders will figure it out. We always do. <laughs> but no, guys are drifting away from the glove and shooting it back towards the glove. That's the new... That's the new trend in the NHL, and shooting low. Matthews is, like I said, shooting low a lot. And he's got 54, does Austin Matthews? Speaking of Matthews, he's in the fashion business now. Now well, you play with Tavares, you got to do something. <laughs> you got to have a lot of time off during the summer. Sent all the way down. So 4-3 to three is the score. And the goal moments ago by Luca Cote. Luca spelled L-U-K-A. I've never seen Luca spelled that way. I like that. Seen it L U C A. Seen L U C for Luke. L O U K A. L O L O U K A. That's pretty cool. Luca. Luca. All right. Mm. Here's Xavier. Porcellus leaning in to take the draw. That O's a different. Sent back to the blue line. That's kept in by Savic. Savic slid it across, knocked down. As Knife Force tried to get it up ahead, that hit a body and back checking and picking it up now. Cosselier. Cosselier down the left wing with speed. Tough angle shot there, Ford off. Kosher got the rebound, got the flipper on it. And it's cutting right through to the cooker there. It was Bourdais looking for the hat trick. On and now is Page. Page turning. Page hounded there, and I believe the net may have come off his protective moorings. It did. So a minute 35 left to go here. And the second stanza, so made leading it. Four to three is your score. And you're watching the Solu Broadcasting Network. Nothing coming up on the docket <laughs> for the upcoming near future. Although we might be covering some lacrosse and field hockey and baseball and softball games in the spring, but that's still going to be at least a month away. The ground's got to thaw a little bit. <laughs> As the faceoffs won and slid across now for Savic. Savic let the shot go, didn't get through. Knocked down by Gagnon. Bouncing puck now, trying to get it loose. They do. On the backhand, sliding it over. That just missed as it went over the glove hand of Kosher. Bodies collide aggressively behind the net, but play allowed to continue. As Kelly a little bit slow to get up, cleared but not out. As Tellier Pelletier lays the lumber into his man now, and back the other way now, Gagnon. Gagnon sending it in. A minute left to go here. And in the second stanza. Four to three is the score. Another close game. Yesterday's went to overtime. And this one a one-goal affair. Back for Cartledge. Hopped over to stick, though, of Cartledge. And then sent all the way down. Cartledge will turn on it there for Morrison. Morrison protecting the puck. Morrison over the blue line. Morrison pulls the trigger. A nice waffle save there by the netminder VL. 
A good stop there by VL. As he got the waffle on it. With about 38 seconds exactly left in the period, we should see some more action coming into the third, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't slow down at all because I love the pace of this game. It's yeah, another high-paced game. Yesterday's was very fast. Today's, these are two fast teams. Oh, yeah. Puck cycled now by Norwich down low as it comes back out to the blue line. Page joust out of there to keep it in, but turning on it there was Coselli. Page for NHC, not Samane. <laughs> yes. She and dancing that. on it now back the other way. Who, who letting the shot go steer to side? Bartlidge took it off the pad of Kosha. Behind the net, Carlich took a big hit there. As coming in there was Trudeau. With four seconds left to go here, Norwich just happy to get it out, and that's going to do it. As the second stanza comes to a close, a little bit of a close line there. At the end of the stanza, so your score. Now we'll see if anything comes of that as the boys are getting together to discuss things. And it's going to be Chucka puck time, ladies and gentlemen. No, still a little some pushing and shoving going on. A scrummage in the bottom right corner. A scrummage. <laughs> All right, cool heads have prevailed. And the second stanza has come to a close. Your score at the end of two. So Main Academy four, the Norwich Hockey Club three. We'll see everybody back for the start of the second period. Leave it there for the... There we go. All right, we'll be back for the start of the second, start of the third.
<laughs> oh, I get the jersey too. I think oh my god. The hanger is the prize. All right. Okay. All right. This is, is a this is a double. It's good. Don't worry. You're growing. This will probably fit all in better than me. <laughs> No, oh my! And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Solu Broadcasting Network. I'm your host, Scotty Bonner, and we are live here with the Chuck a Puck contest winner, Mr. Declan Dempsey. Check out the sweater that he won as he won the Chuck a Puck contest. Number three in your scorecard, ladies and gentlemen, but number one in your hearts. The best color man in the business, wearing the worst hat a color man could possibly wear. My good pal. Mr. Declan Dempsey. That's not nice, Scotty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, your microphone's on? Oh, sorry. I didn't know that you could hear me. <laughs> Listen, I'm an Islander fan, pal. We know, you know, there's nothing I can Rangers do. Rangers are the best, man. <laughs> Despite the Seahawks and the NHC, obviously. <laughs> we'll but see. Uh, the Rangers are the best, man. They're better than the Bruins. Oh, that's a big statement, dude. Yeah, not, no, but, it's not. They might be, but they're not better than the Panthers. Yes, they are. Than Florida? Yeah. yeah. Florida's awesome, man. I, we uh... just beat the Blues yesterday 4-0. Okay. Shesty got the shutout. Shesty with the shutout. So here it's four to three, ladies and gentlemen. As the final stands are of the season about ready to take place. The Zamboni finishing up after the Chuck a Puck contest won by the color man here. So Declan, tell us how was the Chuck a Puck contest? I know you had a strategy going I in. Did obviously, have a strategy. obviously you executed it to perfection. Oh yes. So they picked the three closest pucks. Uh, just so people knew that they that they were one of the closest ones, but only one person got a prize. I'm pretty sure, um, and two of the closest ones are mine. You had two out of three closest. Man, he was holding two in one hand and one in the other. I'm like, oh yeah, those two are mine, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Declan. You did a great job. Very proud of you. And there were a bunch of jerseys there too. There was a red one too, but I'm like, hey, if the red one ain't number three. I'd yeah. rather take the white one. Yeah, well, you're number. Even though the red would have been better, just because red's better and it's not as easy to get stained, because this is yeah, not going to stay the shine for long. Yeah, I wouldn't take that to the hot dog truck or anything. You know, that could uh, be a little bit of problems. But yeah, whenever I bought a hockey jersey, I, always, I would always get a dark jersey, which oh, used yeah. to be the road jersey, but now it's the home jersey. But that's another podcast. Definitely not going to eat mama's cooking with this. No, I would not recommend you take that off at the dinner table. No. <laughs> So, all right, the boys are headed back out on the ice for the third and final stanza of the state of the. I do not want this to become my bid. 23 24 campaign. As so may Academy leads this one 4 to 3, a couple of goals by Benjamin Baudet, Luca Cote, the other goal scorer, and Julian Bauman. And for Norwich, the goal scorers today, Vinnie Krager. And. Let's hope next season that someone has a number three so I can cheer them on. Because so far, no one has just a play number three. But there is a three in Connor's number, so it does kind of work out. Felix Antoine Laflamme also with a goal. And we are about ready to get underway. So it looks like there's going to be a power play to start the period. Yep. As there was a little scrum at the end of the second. So Maverick who It's the same thing to end the third uh, last night. Yeah, just like last scrum. night. We went to overtime. Yep, but with, with different people. It, was, it all started with the player from Somain choke holding Laflamme. Yeah. And Laflamme broke free, fell down to the ground. And then Ryford jumped in, pushed him a little bit. It was like, hey. Go do that again, but the ref broke that up before it escalated, so NHC could be on the power play. So a power play for Norwich. What's that? Thank you. All right. Laflamme leans in to take the draw. Tellier Pelletier on the right wing, getting a shifted forward. Out there with Krager. We'll see if Norwich can rally here to tie the affair. They trail by one. Knife Force couldn't keep it in. Odege came out to center with it. He's chopped that there. Esquivel Kearns. That one rolls in front now dangerously. Odege pulling the trigger, sliding out far out of his net there. Was the netminder Kosher? You got to like the way Kosher aggressively came off of his line there. Oh, yeah. He's like, hey, 
If this puck is loose, it's still an opportunity for them to score. And it's near my crease. So he's like, mm, I'm not having any of that. Just gobbles that up. He sure did. He came way out aggressively. He knew that OJ was going to turn and fire it. So he took the angle away. Yeah, he went gobble, gobble, gobble up the end. <laughs> Good play there <laughs> by the netminder, Kosher. As Nyfors will settle things down. Quickly outlet it for Laflamme. Laflam down the right wing. Laflam at the dot. Pulls the trigger. Waffled aside by Biel. I'm pretty sure that, om that almost went in. It just trickled down his arm. And everyone was in shock of that amazing save right there. Nice save by Biel. He's been good here today. Kreger. Down the light wing. Left wing, excuse me. At the back door. Cutting to the cooker there was Tellier Feltier. And a two-on-one back the other way now. Down the left wing. Walking in. Sliding it across. Odege pulling the trigger. A big stop by Kosher. As that was reminiscent of last night in overtime with the two-on-one shorthanded. Oh, yeah. And Odege finished it off last night, but tonight couldn't get back to the backhand. Was, I believe it was Nyfors who went down to take away the low ice. Tellier Pelletier will send it hard around. On the stick of Laflamme. Laflamme back for Ali Nyfors. Back to Laflamme. Laflamme at the dot. Laflamme gets in a better shooting zone there. Let's the shot go. Nice job by Tellier Pelletier to track it down quickly over Laflamme. Laflamme pulls it to himself, lets the shot go, went straight up in the air, bounces right on the goal line, and just wide. Just a little wider than net, but we were all in shock right there, and we thought that was going to bounce in. It looked like it was headed towards the net. That one just wide there by Te Tellier Pelletier as it's tracked down. Laflamme, did he keep it in? He did. Laflamme getting it back to himself, bouncing puck, turning, wheeling, making the save. Is Viel and there'll be no that further was, play. Viel. That was a great play by the flop. He kept his cool puck possession, and he just he was able to make that quick stop and then jet off with speed. He did a great job to keep it in at the blue line. I thought for sure it was coming out. All right, so the power play's over. Under 15 minutes to go now in regulation, 4-3. to three. So main lean in the affair. The score on the bottom of your screen, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, it's normally at the top. But we are having scoreboard dilemmas. Issues. It issues. is 4 3, so main. It's, but it you is, can it see is it there on the screen. Scrolling by on your ticker. And we are in the third period. We are. And, oh. A big hit there along the boards, offside to the blue line. That's so main. As they send it in, regain the blue line, do the boys in black. Norwich carrying the puck out now. Kelly got it up for DeRozier. Rojo will send it. Excuse me, that was Paige, not Kelly. As Gagnon's behind the net now. On it quickly. Cleared back out to the blue line. Hopped over the stick of cartilage, but hit one of the four officials on the ice. Bouncing puck. Knocked aside by Trudeau. Trudeau's had a good game. Trudeau turning, wheeling, letting the shot go. That one went through the wickets. On it now, Samane. Samane couldn't come away with it. And it's sent up ahead for Gagnon. Gagnon will track it down. Not quickly now. Samane back the other way. Odege down the right wing, trying to cut back inside, chopping it away at it there. Beautiful defensive play there by Vinny Page. Under 14 minutes left to go here in regulation. Tellier Pelletier, cross ice pass. As Laflamme picked it up, big hit there at the blue line. As Laflamme was looking back to find the puck and laying the lumber into him there big time. That was Hool. Bouncing puck now, Hool with it, Hool. Sent flying, the game getting a little bit chippy out there now. and I think it's going to be a tripping call, yep. I think it's going to be against Norwich as well. It is. So Keanu, Esquivel, Kearns in the sin bin. Two Things, minutes for tripping somebody else while they're trying to play hockey. Things getting very chippy out there. But what, again, we keep seeing LaFlamme out there. Taking hits, keeping his cool. And he's oh, he seems to be okay because when he sees that hit coming, even if he doesn't, he manages to kind of duck in a right way where it won't hurt him, but will still impact him. He took a big hit there. It's my math maths. Sliding across now, Bauman. Bauman at the back door slid it across there. One timer there for Bourdais. Trying to cut in with it there was Cote. Back to the blue line it goes now. Bauman. Bauman straight away lets the shot go. Waffle down. Kosher had a fight through traffic to make that save. Tellier Pelletier behind the net. He's hounded there. He'll send it hard around. Kept in by Bauman. Bauman calling for it back. Walking off the wall there was Cote. 
Got it out in front. Man walking in, letting the shot go. Nice stop by Kosher. As he got the waffle on that, it sent all the way down. So good job by Norwich to get to the rebound and send it all the way down. And as on it there is VL. And here comes Somain now. Somain up ahead. Looks like it's going to go for Icing. So Icing is the call with a minute one left to go on the power play. 12.33 left to go here in the affair. Well, first things first, Declan. They got to kill off the penalty. And then they got to look for the equalizer. They're doing a good job out there. And since uh, uh, Samain iced it, it gives NHC a chance to switch up their lines, get their better forwards and defensemen out there so they can keep it in the zone, but also make good shots, good plays, even though they're shorthanded. Yep, they got some fresh legs out there now as Laflamme's out there with knife wars. And let's just keep our hopes up that Norwich can get another one to tie this game up at four. Cartledge will send it all the way down. No icing as they're shorthanded. The goaltender plays it out, but Laflamme got to it. Laflamme, for my money, one of the best penalty killers in the league. There's Trudeau now. He drops it off. There's Laflamme back, checking to pick up the puck. Felix Antoine Laflamme, he's got a goal and assist here today. He'll send it up. Had knife wars behind the D. Rolls all the way to the goaltender there is Biel. Pounded there by Night Force. Night Force causing the turnover. Trying to dig it loose. Running into him there was Hool. Night Force got sent flying. As OdaJ got it up now for Trudeau. Trudeau back for OdaJ. OdaJ straight away. OdaJ pulls the trigger. I think he should have got that one off a little sooner. He had the goaltender's feet moving. It took a little bit too much time getting the shot away, but easy for me to say standing up here. <laughs> On and now is Belcourt, but as soon as he got the puck, though, I thought he should have let it fly. If that's just me. He's had a good couple of games, though, Odege, the game winner last night. So I'm sure he's like, Mr. Broadcaster, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, 11.22 left to go. The penalty is over now. But that's the thing, though, Declan. You get that puck on your stick, you're moving left to right, let it fly. Oh, yeah. All the goaltender's got a chance to set his feet. All right, leaning in now, Vincent Kreger to take the draw for Norwich. Face-off one there. Xavier Corselli. Cleared and not out. Kept into the blue line by Aguilera. Good play by Aguilera to keep the puck in. On and now, Somain trying to get the puck out. That bounces around. Pinching in to Rogers. Rogers run into there. Bodies collide along the boards, came back to the blue line. Tellier Peltier will dump it into the corner. On it quickly now. There's Kelly. Kelly did a nice job to send it down low. Krager kept it back there. So Maine trying to come away with it. They do get it out to center. Nagulera quickly got it to Tellier Peltier, who quickly got it on goal. Yell makes the save. So 10.41 left to go. I guess Martino must be banged up because he hasn't played all night. He's been in the penalty box. Yeah, I don't know Something. if that's a injury issue or a coach issue. I'm sure. I'm sure it's a, if anything, it's an injury. Well, I would we guess. hope it's an injury. I would think so. LaFlamme leaning in. I would bet you it doesn't we, we, do much jelly. That, that came out wrong. We don't hope it's an right, injury. Right, right. No, I know. But for the, yeah, for I know the sake of mean. him playing longer, we La kind La of. lays the lumber into his man. No, but I know what you mean. Yeah. You didn't, you don't, you're not wishing injury on anybody. Uh, nobody, nobody took it that way, I promise you. All right, touched up there. So a power play coming now. Well, the Norwich Hockey Organization. Their fifth of the afternoon. They're two for four so far. As Laflamme got spilled behind the net. So not a lot of five-on-five five here in the third period. It's no. Norwich headed to the power play I actually play kind of now. like it because it's been in Norwich's favor, but they just have to capitalize on this one. Well, they've got two thus far, one for LaFlon, one for Craiger on the power play. We'll see if they can get a third. They win the draw back to Night Force. Night Force for LaFlon. He walks off the board, sending it down low on the goal line, gets it right back, top of the circle, pulls the trigger. Nice stop there. Good give and go there between Craiger and LaFlon. They've been doing it all night. They've been doing it all season. They've been doing it last season, too. Two years now. Two years, and they're still doing the same thing in a good way, in a good way, though. Back-to-back, belly-to-belly. Everything we one. say on here is a good thing. Back to Night Force. Night Force to Laflamme. Laflamme, top of the circle, tried to slide it across. Good stick. In the passing lane there by Page to knock it down. There, Page. Laflamme now walking in right off the arm of Hool. 
That's the second time Houle's blocked one with his hand or his arm. Houle now chases down Laflamme, got it back to Nyfors. Nyfors, oh Laflamme, Laflamme, back for Ali. Nyfors letting the Howitzer go, steer aside by VL. Good one timer there. Turning, wheeling, letting the shot go, covering it up quickly. Is the net miner at Alex VL. A minute and 15 seconds left on the power play for Norwich. Still the same line of, as we begin with. And we have only seniors out there to the, right now. All senior Most power play for Coach Sheehan on senior day. Well, that makes sense. And Coach Chris. Coach Chris Wilford. Chris Wilford, he, he Coach chose Wilford. all senior uh, defensemen too, which it, but it looks like only Ollie's a defenseman right now. Coach Wilford, one of my favorite people on the planet. That one poured down there like a grizzly bear. Pours at a salmon swimming upstream to spawn. And, and Laflamme lets the shot go. And a nice save there by Vial. Only dwindled about 20 seconds of this because we have 55 seconds left in the power play. 55 seconds left to go in the man advantage. 9.20 left to go in regulation. I think that's enough for Norris to score. How about you? I think it's plenty of time. <laughs> I think this story's got a lot more to it. Oh, yeah. Sliding it across now. Tellier Pelletier. Got it down low. He got it back. Top of the circle. Got it across now. As Laflamme tried to go back door there. Esquivel Kearns. Now Esquivel Kearns at the goal line. Tellier Pelletier at the dot. Lost the handle on it. Esquivel Kearns couldn't find it. As it bounces around. Kick loose now to Krager. Krager got it to Laflamme. Laflamme, good move there to spin away from traffic. Lost the handle on it. Out comes Somain out to center ice. And they'll send it across now for Belcourt. Belcourt will dump it in. Wide of the goaltender. And Laflamme, with just 15 seconds left, will leave it there for Nyfors. Nyfors out of the zone. Got it up to Laflamme. Laflamme stepped up into there by Belcourt. Good job by Belcourt stepping up at his own blue line. And we are back at even strength. Norwich had great peck pos puck possession. Over that power play. Good generally kill there as that one goes off the rafters and almost in the net. <laughs> Wouldn't have counted, though. No. As Nyfors was looking to use the rafters and the flag. I don't know how they, how they get it up that high and why they fuck it up that high. It's probably a bouncing puck, rolling puck, and rolling pucks are just so much easier to flick up. All right, the faceoff now just outside. And one by Somain. And they send it up ahead on the backhand, softly leaving it there was more man. Over the blue line, stepping the outside, Soren. Soren letting the shot go. Nice stop there by Kosher. 8.05 left to go now in regulation. So Norwich had an opportunity on the power of play, but could not capitalize. And as the face off deep in the Norwich zone, they win the draw cleanly. Over by the Zamboni doors, Cartledge got it over. To Page. And then they cycle it out to center. It's knocked down there, though, by Guru. Guru wearing Michael Bossy's old number 22, as does Felix Antoine Laflamme. The greatest goal scorer in the history of the game, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Bossy. As it slid across now. Vignon trying to get it in, knocked it down now, walking in down the right wing, and a, I heard a whistle. Is it offsides? Tripping is the call. Just no five-on-five five hockey allowed in a one-goal game in a third period between two great hockey teams. Folks, it's a disgrace. I mean, I just, just there's no other way to put it. It's an absolute mm -hmm. disgrace. There's been no, It's a one-goal game between two tremendous teams, and there's been less than 10% of five-on-five five hockey here in a third period. I, mean, it's, I know. It's It's sad. unnecessary. It's, 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 it's <laughs> ruins, ruins the game. I'm sorry. You can get mad at me all you want. And I'm not mad because Norwich got a penalty. No, I'm not getting mad at that. I'm not, it's not about who gets the penalty. How can I get mad at if you're making a true statement? Five on five. Well, thank you, Declan. <laughs> five on five. It's just a dream, ladies and gentlemen. We had it there for 30 seconds. Mm. Oh, had I known, I would have enjoyed it more. <laughs> As the great Vito once said to Michael, just not enough time. Michael, just not enough time. All right. On and now. I really just hate to see it in such a good game between, I mean, these are two very talented teams. And another penalty coming up. Now it's going to be a five-on-three in a one-goal affair. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't bring my thesaurus with me, otherwise I would continue to pontificate about how this makes me feel. Cross-checking is the call to Night Force. So a five-on-three in a one-goal game. We've played not ten minutes of hockey in the fourth penalty has been handed out this period. And it's not even chippy. It's not even a chippy, dirty oh, period. Oh, yes, it is. You would say it is? Okay. Yes. Kind I, of. I don't... I mean... I mean that that that's your that's your perspective, and I respect that. I'm not going to say you're wrong. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Yeah. I don't. I don't care. But, but uh, I, I don't, I don't feel like it's somewhere. an I don't feel like it's an overly chippy game out there. I Sliding mean... across now on the five on three, getting it down low is Bauman. So a five on three for a minute twenty five to go here in a one goal game, with under seven minutes to go. Andy Van Helleman would not be pleased. In the corner it goes now. Oh yeah, boy. I would love to open an officiating school, the Andy Van Helleman School of Officiating. Leave your whistles at home. Norwich digs it loose now, coming away with it. Here's Cartledge. Is that Laflamme? Excuse me. Laflamme. Laflamme will dump it in. Laflamme behind the net. Laflamme finishes off his check. Laflamme down two men. Causing havoc there. Back the other way with it. Now comes Sorn. Sorn through the neutral zone, hounded by Laflamme. Laflamme and Sorn still going at it as he drops it off for Cresselius. Walking in front there, letting the shot go. There was Bauman. Came back to the blue line. 38 seconds left to go in a two-man advantage. For Sulmain, back for Bauman. Bauman trying to send it down low. Getting the stick in the passing lane there was Tellier Pelletier. And he runs into Sorn in the corner. Norwich comes away with it. Hard around, but it's not going to get out. Chasing it down there with Savic to keep it in. Came back to Savic with 20 seconds to go. Sliding it across to Bauman. Bauman got it down low. Back for Savic. Cutting right up. Hold off his stick. And Savic will retreat. He sauces it down low. Cutting it to the inside. Letting the shot go is Trudeau. The Flam seems a little flabbergasted and tired because he's been out there he for is, like five straight minutes. Because coach running, just keeps putting him out there. Running he's such on a great fumes. Is Laflamme, but he'll keep going. 16 seconds left to go now. A five on four as they've killed off the first one. Laflamme. Absolutely out of gas out there. And as they slide it across and they get fresh legs on with five seconds left to go on the power. A big stop there by Kosher as he closes the wicket. So we're going to be back to a five on five as Night Force comes out of the box. So Norwich has survived that. And it remains a one goal game with five minutes left to go. They ice the puck, but that's okay. They'll get fresh legs out there. A tremendous job by the penalty killing unit. Of the Norwich Hockey Club. All right, four minutes and 58 seconds left to go. A one-goal game. Do you think we'll get five on five the rest of the way, Declan? Mm, no. I don't think so either. <laughs> There's nothing we hope here. so. We, we hope, hope so. There's nothing that's given us any reason to believe that we will. Hope. It would be nice, wouldn't it? It would. It, the keyword being would. <laughs> Face off one by Norway. That is the keyword. there. <laughs> Up ahead now, the Rosier. The Rosiers, excuse me. He'll send it in. That goes behind the net. Getting to it quickly there. Poking it loose. A big hit behind the play. As Carlidge took a hit there, but play allowed to continue. He gets back up, shaking it off. How is that not a penalty? Uh, well, I guess we asked for no more penalties, so I can't complain that they didn't call it. As it's sent ahead now and dumped in, Aguilera. In the corner there, Aguilera took a hit. Aguilera with the puck. 4.20 left to go. Here in regulation and in the season. As Morrison turns back. Morrison with the puck now. Got it up to Carl. Excuse me, Tellier Pelletier. He couldn't get it out. That's knocked down at center ice. Letting the shot go. Marcellus. Nice stop there. By Kosher as he comes back to center ice. Fresh legs out there. There's Trudeau. As it's sent in behind the net. Knocked down by Tellier Pelletier. He'll send it up to DeRozier's. Under four minutes to go now. He sends it across. Aguilera had trouble with it as it came off the boards. On and now Morrison. Morrison in the corner takes a big hit by Aguilera. Play allowed to continue. Morrison with it now. Morrison behind the net. Morrison got it out for Tellier Pelletier. Tellier Pelletier down the goal. Sending the puck in and giving chase into the corner with Sorn. Sorn got to it first. Soren trying to get it out. That one intercepted there as Krager lays the lumber into him. 3.16 left to go here in the season because Stone Cold said so. 
Nyforce turning on the puck in the corner now. Nyforce trying to dig it loose. Couldn't come away with it. Speller will knock it down. Tried to get it back to Nyforce, but it's taken away. And quickly now, back the other way they come. Through the neutral zone, down the left wing they go. Dropping it off. Good hit there. He's finishing off the play. In the corner was Cartledge. Hard across now, 2.45 to go. Down the left wing now, Bradford. Bradford walking in. I went off the foot of Cartledge. And turning on it there is Krager. Over for Nyforce. Nyforce will send it up. And on sides is Speller. Speller down the right wing. Lost the handle on it. I'm glad to see Cartledge back out there. And comes away to center ice. Took a rough hit over yeah. there about two minutes ago. And he seems to have shaken it off. He did take a rough hit. You're right. And a nice stop there by the net minder, Carlidge. So we'll keep an eye on the goaltender for you. Got to think the next time Norwich gets it down, they're going to be pulling him. They scored with the goaltender pulled last night. Oh, yeah. To make it 4-4. Four to four. So can we see that again here today? Mm, hopefully. Hopefully. And hopefully that Somain does it. Get that empty netter, but we hope. Hope is the key word right here. Sent all the way down. Going to go for icing. We, only, only a few seconds ticked off the clock there. We can only hope. 2.20 left to go here in the affair. Uh, while we have this chance, from Michelle and I to everybody in the Norwich family, Norwich Hockey Club family and the Southeastern Connecticut Seahawks, we want to thank you so much for the opportunity to be here all year long and here again today. Really has truly been a blessing, honor, and privilege to be able to cover these games. Yes, it has. It's been a privilege to broadcast with you. Walking in, pulling the trigger, and a privilege to have you here, buddy. Color man or cl camera man, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll do it both. I'll You're, do it all. <laughs> you have very versatility, which, you know, is French for versatile. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's kind of sometimes. That's the first time I've known something. <laughs> 220 left to go now in the affair. No. NHC won't pull the goalie until about two minutes left. Well, gotta but get, we gotta are in the defensive zone, too. So yeah, they got to get it deep make it and they got to have control. So a couple of things have got to happen before they think about pulling the goaltender. They do get it out to center, but they don't have the puck. On and now, Bauman. Bauman will send it in off the scapatula of the official. That's sent ahead now behind the D. The Rogers, but they say he was offside. Offsides is the call at the blue line. I actually thought he was offsides, to be honest with you. Yeah, he was. Oh, they're going to say it's going to come all the way down? Wow. That's because we're, that's where the pass was, though. Okay. Thank you, Declan. You you're have right. to do it from wherever the pass wherever is. The you're right. You're right. For the first time. <laughs> There's a reason you're the best color man in the business. All right. So right there. Still debatable. Everything's debatable. No, not everything. A minute like, what isn't debatable is that Oreos do not belong in water. Even though Jack dips Oreos in water. Uh, listen, he's a goaltender. He can do whatever he wants. No, he can't. <laughs> he can't score pistol. on his own goal, even though he does. Deflected in front, and that just missed. Reaching for it there was Kosher to make the save. Oh, my goodness. As they got it down low, deflected it, got behind the goaltender and Kosher. Good save, Nico. I mean, Noah. <laughs> I was like, wrong one. I was like, wrong one. No, that's all right. I thought I had it wrong because there was a game the other night and the, and the team pulled the goaltender and I was calling the other goalie for half the period. Somebody sent me a text. I think so and so is in goal now. Is knife force sends his man flying and <laughs> now. Like we said, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna get we're not gonna get five on five. They're saying Night Force was head contact, but Night Force is six five. He is? Well, I don't know. He is on skates, that's for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> They're gonna kick him out? No, are they? No, I think it's just a two minute penalty. That's so roughing is the call, which means the knife force hit him too hard. Yeah, that's... If he's calling roughing, by de if he's calling elbowing, it's elbowing. He's calling high stick, it's high sticking. He's calling head contact, it's head contact. If he's calling he roughing, roughing, it could be many things. Roughing means he hit him too hard. That, that shouldn't even be a penalty. I agree. Connor got a penalty for that a long time ago before it was on NHC on the Seahawks. Bantams, he's like, 
Oh, no, he was on uh, Yale, and he's like, oh, you got a penalty because you hit the kid too hard. Yep. That's exactly what just happened, Ollie. That's stupid. That's a, that's a good hit. And back the other way now, Laflamme, Laflamme, looking for the equalizer, trying to dance to the outside, got pulled down. No penalty on that, really? None going. Jeez. A minute 15 left to go now. So Maine on the power play for the remainder of the affair. And the breaks on there was more man. And sending it in was Boudet. Boudet got it down low. More man turning. Got it back to the blue line now. Walking the line, Bauman. Bauman sliding it over. Down low it goes. Under a minute to go as they try to corral back in front. And knocked down by Laflamme. Laflamme looking for one last rush. Laflamme through the neutral zone. Laflamme to the outside. Laflamme at the dot. Pulls the trigger. Big save. The rebound. Comes bouncing and loose. Bouncing there. Page trying to get to it. Esquivel Kearns couldn't find it. The goaltender still in between the pipes. As it comes back to Cartledge. Cartledge will dump it in. 30 seconds left to go. In regulation in the season. And the goaltender is still in between the pipes. They haven't pulled them. Maybe because they're short. I thought they would make it a five-on-five. Five. Yeah, I think it's because Odege they're short. Odege carrying the puck out with 15 seconds left to go. Odege looks at the clock and wisely just sends it behind the net. Aguilera tried to get it out. De Rosa, he gets it out to center. It's so Maine in control here. One more clear, or they just have to hold on to it. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. So Maine Academy is going to hold on here today. <laughs> A little bit of pushing and shoving after the whistle, but I don't think anything too serious. Nope. Uh, so, 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 so main academy holding on for the victory here today, and they sweep. Same score as last night. The weekend series, four to three, is your score here today. And last night. And last night as well. This one only took three periods. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for Senior Day. As the Norwich Hockey Club lines up to shake hands here with So Main Academy. So for my color man, Mr. Declan Dempsey, for my camera lady, producer, director, and bride, the lovely and talented Miss Michelle, I've been your host, Scotty Bonner. You've been watching Norwich Hockey Club Hockey here on the Solu Broadcasting Network. Thank you so much for the privilege of being here all season long and being here this weekend. Once again, your final from the Rose Garden here in Norwich, Connecticut. So Maine Academy 4, the Norwich Hockey Club 3. Well, that's going to conclude our broadcast season, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see everybody again in the fall. Have a great summer. Thank you once again for the blessing, honor, and privilege to be your broadcaster and broadcast team. Good night, everybody.